We are looking at a problem dealing with under or over applied overhead here. Uh, this is part of a normal costing system, what the book would call normal costing. Uh, essentially the idea behind that is we take our overhead and come up with a budgeted amount for that overhead and then apply it to products in real time as they're being made. Uh, now what that does is it gives us relevant timely information. We know exactly what our costs are uh, in real time instead of having to wait and apply overhead to products at the end of the month when we get uh, maybe the electric bill or whatever it might be. So the normal costing system is what happens in real life and what happens is sometimes we have in budgeting our overhead we will budget too much or we won't budget enough and that's what we're dealing with right here under or over applied overhead. Uh, we have Jackson Tank Company and it says they have a $66,000 credit balance in their manufacturing overhead control. So they budgeted too much, they applied too much to overhead. So we need to talk about how to get rid of that because we just can't leave it in overhead. It needs to be closed out. So we can do A, it says prepare the necessary journal entry to close out that overhead if the balance is considered immaterial or not significant and B, close it out if it's considered material. So we'll look at it both ways here. Uh, before we get into that, let's go ahead and look at manufacturing overhead and kind of talk about how we know whether it's under or over applied. Uh, I got my manufacturing overhead T account here. Uh, if you remember, the debit side of that T account represents actual amounts of overhead that we have incurred and recorded. The credit side represents estimated or budgeted amounts that we have applied to overhead. So if we have a balance remaining on that debit side or the left side, that means that we've under applied. We didn't put enough overhead or budget for enough overhead. Okay. So the credit side, if we have in, in the case of this problem, we actually got some remaining on that credit side, that would be considered over applied. Okay. We put in too much overhead. We budgeted for too much overhead and didn't end up spending that much money on it. So we can have under applied if it's a, a balance remaining on the debit side and we can have over applied if it's a balance remaining on the credit side. Either way we have to get rid of that balance and close it out. Not a very hard process so we'll, if you follow along here I think you'll get it. In the first uh, part of it they want us to do immaterial real simple. I'm going to take that 66000 and I'm just going to close it out to cost of goods sold. I'm starting with a credit balance, so to get rid of it, I'm going to have to do a debit. So I'm going to debit manufacturing overhead for that exact amount that I have left in the account. And when I do that, that's going to wipe that account and it's going to give me a ending balance of zero. Okay? And we just close it out to cost of goods sold. That's all there is to it. Now, that's assuming it's an immaterial amount, meaning that amount is not significant. Now that we've got that down, let's talk about how to close out a material amount. And not too hard, we do have another hoop or two we have to jump through. So what we're going to have to do is prorate that uh, overhead, the over applied amount, to three different accounts instead of just closing it all out the cost of goods sold. And we're going to close it out to work in process, finished goods, and cost of goods sold. So the way we're going to determine what amounts get booked to which is we're going to take a prorated balance. We're actually going to find the total of the three accounts here, add them up, and then divide each individual one by that total to come up with a prorated amount. We'll then take that and multiply it by our over applied overhead to get an amount to plug into our journal entry. So here we go. I'm just going to take and add up my work in process, finished goods, and cost of goods sold. I come up with 1.2 million. So I'm going to divide each individual line item here by 1.2 million, and hopefully we can get a prorated amount. So we're going to go 384,000 divided by 1.2 million, and we get 32%. 96,000 divided by 1.2 million, 8%, and then cost of goods sold gives us our remaining 60% there. We're going to take that percentage for every one of them and multiply it by the over applied overhead amount. And we get that done. There's the numbers that we need for our journal entry. So you remember we had a credit balance in manufacturing overhead. We still need to get rid of that credit balance. So we're going to debit it and our credits are simply going to be exactly what we had just calculated. 21,124 work in process, 52,80 for finished goods, and 39,600 for cost of goods sold. 
Now, the part C of the problem wants to know what method do you believe is more appropriate for the company and why? They want to know would you consider it immaterial and just close it out the cost of goods sold? Or would you consider it material and go through this calculation and apply it to three different accounts here? In this case, I think it would probably be a better idea to go with the material amount uh, simply because we're talking about an amount that's probably about five and a half percent of the total. So if we look at our manufacturing over applied to their 66,000 and compare it to kind of the total of these three accounts, it represents about five and a half percent. That's probably a little bit too much to just plug into cost of goods sold and it may give us a distorted picture of COGS. So the better procedure would probably be to follow the idea that it's material and divide it out among the three different accounts. That's how we handle an over applied overhead amount. Uh, if we had the opposite, if it was under applied and we had a ending debit balance here, the process would be the exact same only instead of kind of debiting it we would credit to get rid of. So the journal entries would be flipped. Procedure is the exact same though. If you have any questions about this problem or any of the other ones you're working, let me know.